Hello and welcome to this new video about this video is in PHP and we'll be learning how to draw some simple patterns. We'll start with this particular pattern here. As you can see, this is a right aligned triangle. The right line is on the same level and it's shifted over here. Obviously, this shifting will require some spaces to be drawn. So every line essentially consists of subspaces followed by an O and then we have a new line character here which changes it to the new line and the same thing repeats. Now, this pattern is essentially drawn using three loops I for the number of rows which in our case is four as you can see. J will be drawing the spaces and K will be drawing the O's. These are small holes which we will be drawing. So let's start a PHP page first of all. Dollar rows is equal to 4 for dollar i equal to 1, dollar i less than equal to dollar rows, dollar i plus plus. Then start the curly brackets. There you are. For dollar j equal to one, dollar j less than equal to. We'll have to decide what figure to put here. We'll decide afterwards dollar j plus plus start curly brackets then for dollar k equal to one dollar k less than equal to dollar k plus plus start curly brackets and close it we'll print a space over here print space in HTML is encoded ampersand and VSP and a semicolon. We'll be printing O here. So I'll write print O. And then when everything is done, spaces have been printed, the O has been printed, we need to put a new line which in HTML is the br tag. Now, what do we write over here and what do we need to write over here? Let's go and check up here. In the first line we have got one, in the first row we have got three spaces, in the second row two, in the third row one, in the fourth row four. So i plus j which in php is dollar i plus dollar j is always equal to 4 and 4 is the number of rows so dollar i plus dollar j equal to dollar n is the equation which means dollar j is less than equal to dollar n minus dollar i dollar j is equal to dollar n minus dollar i we write this here for k k is the same as i in the first row we have got one o in the second two in the third three and in the fourth four so i'll simply write dollar i over here dollar i run it now dollar n we need to write dollar rows i made a bloomer on that
there we are the figure is really quite right aligned it seems the spaces are not taking the same amount of horizontal space as the four characters so I'll write NBSP I'll write one more space over here and let's see if it works better there you are it's aligned now and we've succeeded in drawing this particular figure let's try this one there is no space to the left which means dollar j is always zero so what do you do simply come here and write zero the second loop the j loop will not run and we'll get the figure that we're looking for you can remove the j loop as you want if you want it will still work now come to this one j is still the same as the previous case over here so we'll use dollar n minus dollar i and k is the odd number sequence 1 3 5 7 which is 2 into i minus 1 so you write dollar rose minus dollar i here and 2 into dollar i minus 1 for the O's. Save it. Refresh. And we've got it right. Now what happens if I want to reverse this figure? To vertically reverse the figure, all you need to do is to reverse the top loop. How do you reverse it? Start at dollar rows. Dollar i should be greater than or equal to 1 and dollar i will go minus minus. Let's see if it works. It does. So we know how to make a inverted triangle, uh, inverted pyramid. We also know how to make a upright pyramid. Can we combine the two to create a diamond? Let's see. Copy the whole code. Press Ctrl C. No, I didn't copy everything. We'll do it again. Press Ctrl C. Paste it here. And run this the initial way dollar i equal to 1 dollar i less than equal to dollar rows and dollar i plus plus let us see if it works it does except that the middle row has been repeated twice so what do we do reduce it run it to dollar rows minus 1 reduce it 1 from the top half there you are we got it right you can do it the other way around as well let it run up to dollar rows and from the second one you start at dollar rows minus 1 the effect will be the same there it is we still get the same figure what do you do if you want a hourglass? Copy the second row, the second loops and put it before the first one. Here it is. Put it here. Now let's see what happens. The middle was has been repeated twice, so we'll run this up to position 2 and not up to 1 that should fix the problem it does now we can try other figures as well let's see uh, 
Pascal triangle type of a figure that has this one going right up to up to dollar i only. You put two spaces in this and proceed NBSP and and percent and BSP. Let's see if it works. Yes. If you want a larger figure, you simply go out and increase the number of rows. Let's make it 10. And there you are. In the next video, we'll try and make some other figures like a box, outlines, and fill in A, B, C, Ds, 1, 2, 3, 4s, etc. in this figure. This is the next assignment. And thank you for now.